We've located the lines that we know about. Now's a good time to turn the equipment into power mode. The first screen is called power, and it's just looking for the presence of 60 hertz power anywhere. This telephone pole symbol says it's coming from overhead. A number at the bottom of the screen indicates an underground source. When it's jumping all around like this, it just means there's really nothing around to detect. We've just come across something. Notice the sensitivity has lowered itself toward near. We seem to be over a source of electrical power. The power screen detects when you cross the underground line. In order to trace it, we right click to the track screen. We turn the line finder to trace the way the line runs. Use this track screen the same way you do for regular line tracing, in line with the line you're tracing. I've painted a line to mark which way this unknown source seems to be running. Now I'll lay down the buzz box right over where the line is, and it will induce a signal into the line through the ground. Since now we're locating inductively, I need to step away from the buzz box a ways before starting to locate. I start in the direction the line seems to be running, and sure enough, I'm picking it up. It follows a nice, clear line. Make sure to follow all governing laws in your area and call 811 prior to digging. You can use the same method to continue locating a line with a signal that has faded from your original connection point. Just set the buzz box down over a confident locate spot and continue locating inductively. <laughs> <laughs>